Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Ahead of the Curve. This is gonna be a special edition. We're gonna call this County Government 101. 101. I'm David Thomas, this is uh, Bo. Yes, that's Bo, Bo Gill. Gill. Yes, sir. Uh, Bo, we've talked about doing this for a little while, yeah. and I think it's time that we do it. We're gonna start off by talking about Bedford County Government, not specifics, but just to give you some basic fundamentals we're just going to dip the toes in yeah. the water just to kind of give a, a good overview right of the county uh you know the county functions and the county government let's start with the basics let's start with it this is bedford county <laughs> is this where bedford county is i've been the, uh, that's what i heard so this, this is bedford. This, I, I, this we're in is, shelbyville though but where this is bedford county right I don't confuse me <laughs> we're in bedford county bedford county is in southern middle tennessee all right Last time we I know, I think everybody knows where they are if they're watching this. I so, hope so. All right, so Be Bedford County is um, populated by about just a little over 50,000 people. Yeah, we're growing. Yeah, we, we're growing. That's what the numbers say. And that's the county. That's right. the county. And we are divided into nine districts. Nine those, total districts. Those districts take the population and evenly, evenly divide it so that we can have two commissioners for each district. So we have nine districts, that would be a total of 18 commissioners. Commissioner's job is to represent the people uh, when they vote on certain topics, In their just district. like our budget they just voted on, and they vote on other things. Just about every meeting they have something yes, to vote the on. The commissioner is in a, in whatever district, let's just say for example District 1, and that that uh, that commissioner doesn't vote on behalf of his what he thinks or what he um, shouldn't vote on behalf of what he thinks. He gets, he gets, uh, you know, he takes uh, all anything from his constituents in his district, and that's who he votes for. That's he's the voice. Right. He's the representative of that people. He's uh, voting on behalf of yes, his district. That's that he right. Represents. Well, they there's two there's per two district, right. so they they are, and that's the way it was intended. Right now, the county, out in the county, there's four major, or actually five main districts within the county district one two three four and five and then we have our county seat which is the city of shelbyville sitting right in the center of bedford county and the county seat is where the county government sits that's where the yeah. county government conducts it, business yeah. that's the, where the, our county courthouse sits on the public square the county seat of, of bedford county is shelbyville the county seat of lincoln county is fayetteville that's how it works in comparison. Right, other ways. and it's typically the county seat is in the is centrally located right Correct. in the middle of the county, such as Shelbyville. So, the the city of Shelbyville sits in Bedford County, so there are commissioners for for the, the county, entire the county. entire county, which six, seven, eight, and nine primarily are divided up in the city of Shelbyville, right. or right what right, right in the center of the county here, and that's where the most population is. So we have four districts. Yeah. that encompass the center here, which is right here in Shelbyville. So we have districts one through nine. Um, six, seven, eight, and nine start with six in the southeast side of Shelbyville, seven that goes up to the northeast side of Shelbyville, yep. eight to the northwest, and nine to the southwest. So that just basically is a compact bit of uh, population that sits in Bedford County. Right. So it's we smaller have, in area, but but comparable in, in, in numbers, population. Right. Most every district has between 5,300 and 5,500 people if you look at the numbers so it's evenly divided now mm -hmm. we have uh, reviewed this before there are um, registered voters recorded in each district and we've gone over that roughly anywhere from 3,000 to 3,500 registered voters right. in each each district we have a total of 26,913 registered voters that get to go vote all right so with these commissioners in place, we also have a mayor. That mayor, his job is to be the chief executive He's officer. Exa he runs the day-to-day -day operations. He, uh, he he handles the business of the county. He's not, uh, you know, writing laws and arresting people and, and writing tickets and, and, and establishing his political power. He is an executive. It used to be called, in fact, 
the county executive right uh, see, years ago years ago that. um it, it, now it's the county mayor i mean he, he's got a lot of responsibilities um a lot it's an important uh job as a representative but he uh you know well, he's not really represent well he represents in a way of way he manages you know the county finances right. i would say in a in a certain way but you're right he's not um you know he, that he, way he's, he's more of an he's executive an, he's the employee of the county right that he was the chief administrator that's that, exactly that, right i guess administrator that's exactly would be right. a good way to that's put a good it. way to put it he also resides over the commission meetings yes. he is like the one that calls it to order yeah. And, um, he can break he, ties I think, sometimes. Is I that? think that's. I think he has tie breaking vote. I'm yep. not sure. Okay. Uh, but then we have a sheriff, which is the chief law enforcement officer and the chief uh, enforcer and right protector of the citizens of Bedford County. He protects the constitutional rights of of that's each right. citizen in Bedford County. He's a servant of the people, and we're very uh, blessed to have a, a good sheriff here. That that, right. that the first time, if you ask him. You know what? Is, what are we about? And he'd say we're servants of the people. Right. I've heard him say it many times, and that's the mindset that we we should be in. Right. Actually, the sheriff is the most powerful officer in the county. In the county. That's right. Um, there's so the mayor's not the the commissioners are not. It's the sheriff. Yes. He has legally speaking, he yeah. has constitutional authority. Right. Right. All right. So that just kind of gives you a little. Uh, view of how county government is is established and and formed and bedford county um is one of 95 counties in tennessee and most all of them it's, there's three other counties that have municipalities we won't even talk about that because it doesn't apply to us but most every county is set up the same way yes they have the same this kind of setup and and you know it's to those of you who might think you know i'm in shelbyville but, but i'm don't have anything to do with bedford county you know no you do you're in bedford county if you're in shelbyville uh, you're under the umbrella of bedford county just right. as bedford county is under the umbrella of tennessee and tennessee under the united states of america although independent as a state um, that is that is how you, you need to think of it and, and and a lot of people think well I don't need to get involved I'm not in the county well no you do have a commissioner um, you do have a councilman as well and we're going to get into city uh, government on a yeah we'll next do one. on our next show we'll do we'll yeah. do city government but, but you're involved you're you you have a say so and um, right and you're in this county and we're all in here together right if you're in Bedford County you get a vote if you're a registered voter if you hadn't registered to vote it's too late for this year but I encourage you to register to vote but early voting starts on July 15th and runs through the 30th. Coming please, up. Please exercise your right uh, to go vote. Um, and, um, you know, I, every candidate I talk to appreciates people getting out and going to vote. Yeah, they do. And it and is your right. And, if, and like he's, like Bo said, if you're in the city of Shelbyville, you vote in the county election. There's so many people I've bumped into that just don't understand I know that. It. They, they don't. But you're not taught these things. No. You kind of have to figure them out yourself. And if you don't know, you don't know. So. Right. We're trying to educate a little bit, a little uh, bit. Uh, trying to give a little bit of 101 county government uh, to those I, I need. It. I mean, we all could use a right, refresh sure. on, right. on how things work. Well, uh, we'll be back again real soon, hopefully in the next day or so, yeah. with uh, part two of this, talking about the city. Uh, we've got Shelbyville, we have Bellbuckle, we have Normandy, we have Wartrace. And other small communities, we'll talk about those jurisdictions. Yeah, and incorporated versus unincorporated. We right. Can maybe get we'll talk about that. that. And uh, But mainly, Bedford County is your home. You have a right to go vote. We encourage you to do that. Watch again real soon for county government, city government 101 coming up again on part two real soon. Definitely.